In this video, we'll review the Service CEO mobile application, which is currently in its preview status. Note that the mobile application resides at m.serviceceo.com. We begin on the login page here. We'll go ahead and log in. Note that when we log in, the system defaults to all of today's work orders. To view different lists, you can click your filters button up here, which allows you to change the date that you're looking at, as well as to filter to only show open, cancel, closed, or any combination of those types of work orders. Go ahead and hit save right now. We also have a feedback button in the lower left hand corner. This is for you, the user, to give us feedback on this mobile application, which is currently in its first pass. However, it is going to be improved as time goes along. So the more feedback we get from our customers, the better we can make this system for you. Now let's look at what our actual capabilities are on a work order. You can see here, we can see our work order number, the summary, the scheduled date and time, and where it says none here, this would be our substatus. We'll go ahead and click into this. Most of the mobile application is view only. There are limited things which can be changed on here, including the substatus, any notes, and getting a signature capture as well. Let's review top to bottom. First on our general tab, we'll see information like the customer's name, the summary of the job, the current status and substatus, as well as the start time, the duration, and the service location and links. You can click on the service location to pull up more information. There's also a Napit link here, which will bring us over to Google Maps. You can also click onto the service contact name to get more contact information. The sub status can be edited by a person in the field which is a great way to let the office know that a job is complete because at this time field staff cannot change the overall status thereby closing a job. So what you can do is you can always set up a substatus to say complete for example or any other substatuses that you've set up for your company can all be used from here as well. Mark this one as complete. Down here at the bottom I need to accept the change to save this as complete. We'll collapse general. Now we'll look at the charges section. Note that all you can do is see the dollar amount that's being charged. You can click the link here to see the description of the service that's being provided. But again, note that none of this can be edited at this time. Collapse charges to get to the assignment section. Here we can see who has been assigned and how long they're scheduled. If multiple people were assigned, you'd be able to see multiple people. In our notes section, I have the ability to add notes, whether they be private or on the work order here. If, for example, I wanted to put some work order notes here, I'd simply come in here and click accept, and I now have notes attached to this work order saved in Service CEO. Finally, through the mobile application, you can take a signature on a work order in Service CEO. If I come into this signature here, and click Sign Now, which can be done from most smartphones, this comes to life. Go ahead and save that on here. Now I have to hit the Save button in the top right hand corner. This saves the signature onto the work order in Service CEO and brings me out. Again, please give us as much feedback as possible on the mobile application so we can continue to improve it. This concludes the training video on the mobile application in Service CEO.